Welcome back to another Civilization 6 game here. This one we're playing as this person. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. The reason why we're playing a bunch of modded Civilizations, these are all by CircuitTech. You can actually find the links to all these mods in the description of the video. And we're playing with a special mod, one called Barbarian Breakout. There's going to be so many barbarians in this game. So why are we doing this? It's primarily because I've been holding off on doing kind of a challenge because I don't know if a patch is going to come out soon. It, it sounds like a patch is going to come out really, really soon, but who knows if it is. So we're going to do, we're going to play Inland Sea, and I'm also going to mess with these things. I've never really looked at these before. Let's make it abundant, and I want to do Legendary Star Position. That just sounds awesome, and the rest will just keep standard. So let's get going. Let's see how all of these mods work out together, and let's have some fun. I don't know what to do with this start. Okay, so with the Gallic Empire, the one thing we get... A city spawn up on mineable resources to provide that resources yield modifier to adjacent tiles. So let's try founding on this tile next turn. Win our score. Did anything go up? Yeah, so stone pr should provide one production. So I don't know why this didn't do a production. Maybe it's just because I actually mined the resource when I found it on that tile. That is probably why. Another recon unit just spawned. We're getting... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Look at all these. There's three recon units. Winneth our capital. This barbarian mod is going to be a little crazy. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> he has a slinger, a spearman, and a warrior. Oh, my goodness. Let's just build... Let's build a slinger. And let's actually go for archery. Dogs in okay. Horses. And we definitely have horses. We have a lot of horses. Right there. Oh, that is excellent. And another horse is this. <laughs> this is actually another one. Oh, man. Legendary and abundant resources. What? This is this crazy. And here come the barbarians. They're coming strong towards our capital. And a major flood already. This is what we needed. Unlock Code of Laws. 100% going for discipline. And we'll definitely go for God King. And maybe we'll get religious settlements in this game. Man. We get this tribal village to the north. Come on, Relic. One new population. Yes, we will take that. We need as much population. Oh, man. Look at these tiles already. Man, I really want to buy a builder and get a settler going. We need, we need more and more. Let's see if we can get this archery boost. We can hit it here. Yes, we can hit it with this one. And then our third one. Let's take it out. The slinger got that nice archery boost. Just got a lot, a lot of promotions. Let's go back with our archery and then, ooh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's move our slinger over here, our warrior here, and our this slinger. Let's move this slinger back into our capital and give it volley. Now our setup is right here. We have, we'll have two archers next turn to defend against all these barbarian units up here. Oh, crap. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die. <laughs> don't die. No, I died. Oh, no. Oh, man. Basically, every turn, another barbarian spawns from this encampment. We want to take this thing out. Another one. Goodness. Goodness. Let's see here. Major victory there. And let's go for this spearman. Back this one up, can it? Okay, if we back this one up one, it'll be safe. This is like taking another AI on. This is crazy with the Barbarians. Our settler, we're going to go down south somewhere over here. I've not thought about it too much because we have kind of a Barbarian issue around here. I don't know which one. You, we want to kill these things. That's what we want to do. Let's just kill this one unit. This one, we're fortifying. And this one, we're running away. What? They got our archer. No. That is just not good news. This is one movement, right? Okay, we'll promote this one and give it volley. Man, that is something we wanted. We did not want that to happen. That is, that was just, that's just really, really bad. Let's just set a go for, let's go for this one. Another, another barbarian encampment. This is probably a bad idea to found this city right here. But let's go for an archer in this city. I think we're gonna have to do this. 50% production, that's just so good. Probably iron 
when if there are is there not iron over here? Oh, iron's way to the right. Oh, here's our chance to take out this barbarian encampment. Are they, okay? <laughs> that was a trap. That was a trap. We're not we're not going for that right now. We'll bring this barbarian, this other warrior down there to try to take it out. And of course, another unit spawns. Uh oh. Okay, go back home. Go back home. Take this thing out. Oh no. Really, a horseman? Uh oh. Uh oh. Those things are so strong. This tune is just toast. Okay. This is not going well. <laughs> not going well at all. Let's see what pantheons are available. Let's actually choose God of the Open Sky because we're going to have quite a few pastures around here. And this will actually give us, let's see here, one, two, three, four, four, five, five culture per turn, which is actually really, really good. This horseman, though, is, is, is not good. Is not good at all. We need production in each city, and then we're going back for discipline. It's just crazy. We definitely want discipline. Okay, now let's make some attacks. Let's make some good attacks around here. Take out that horseman there. This one. How do we save that? How do we save this warrior? I'm not entirely sure. We don't want to move the archer out of here. Really. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think we attack here. Kill that. Yes, we killed it. And go right here. This is a two movement tile, so it should be it should be okay there. This is this is this is so tough. This is super tough. Okay. Okay. This is this is what we have going here. It's actually pretty pretty bad. <laughs> this, is, this is really really bad. At least we're getting a lot of these boosts. We're getting a decent amount of XP, which is always good. But man, okay, we can promote this one. Finally, we'll do volley for this one. Can we kill it? We can. We can kill it. I'm hoping next turn this encampment is actually not available for... Oh, we could have promoted that unit, but we need to take it out. Okay, finally, this one could finally heal. Well, look at this. Encampment done. 30 gold, 3 air score, totally worth it. That was super easy to do in this game. That's all, you, that's all you got? Look at this victory. Our spearmen just nuts against those things. Oh, can we take out this encampment too? The same, this, oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Let's make a pasture here. Make sure we're working that. So what do we have to do here? Major victory there, but this thing will just destroy our horsemen. Destroy our archer. Can we actually kill this thing? We can kill this thing. Oh yes, that is awesome. This is a little tricky here. Is this a hill? It's a, it is a hill. That's where we're going take this one out. Another one done over here. And then let's just, okay, this one has a promotion, but let's just go here and go after this, this one. And let's just kill this horseman at two. Oh, look at this. Our first horseman, it can finally, it can take out this encampment easily for us. But now we have a little bit of a pickle with our units down to the south because this one it can only get attacked by this unit so let's take this one out to our units to the north let's run away okay it's just a scout to the north that is perfectly fine all of our units are horsemen and definitely lived which is good let's try to get rid of this thing and oh we can actually run away let's actually let's kill this scout down to the south as for this unit are we are we risky are, are we going to live dangerously? Yeah, we'll take this one out. We're going to live a little dangerously. I want to see if the Gallic Empire's unique ability, the city's found and mineable resources provide, that resources yield modifier to adjacent tiles. We're going to try this. We're going to found it right on the iron. Oh my goodness. It did. It did. Look at these tiles now. They all have a science. <laughs> that is, and a, oh man, that is awesome. That is just, that's just a lot of fun. Okay. That may have been a mistake to leave this archer all alone by itself. 
May. May is maybe a strong word. We can actually... Ooh. Let's just go for this horseman. Weak, weaken that up a little bit. Come on, live. It lived. It lived. And we got masonry so we can build walls. Governor Tile and 1 XP? Oh, that was a really good... That was a really, really good one. Let's do, let's do Liang, because we're gonna be some build we're gonna be some builders. First all sworn in our empire. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful person. Another unispawn? That is fine. Look at this. We can get it. Let's just get this thing. Boom. Three more air score. Okay. One three more air score. We can get a nice, nice golden vage golden like heroic cage. Oh, we can't get it this turn. Is this two movement? Is this one movement? One movement cost. What do we want to attack over here? So many options. Let's just take out this thing. Hundred. Done. <laughs> take that, barbarians. Okay. Class for philosophy. For our government, let's us do oligarchy. Because we need all the combat strength that we can get. For our policies, we're definitely 100% keeping discipline because things are getting a, a little crazy around here. And then we also actually need conscription. We're losing 4.3 gold per turn, which is actually going to be quite a big of an issue in a little bit. So now it's up to plus 3.6 per turn. We can still get the Great Bath. I have never gotten the Great Bath. This, these, All these monasteries are just kind of, I guess, not that one or crazy turn. 86, we still have not discovered a neighboring AI yet, but we got our next city and falling on the iron is actually pretty awesome. Look at all these tiles, plus one science for all these neighboring tiles, just, just crazy. This city, let's just start going right for a campus. We're just going to build it on the wheat, whatever over here. I don't know actually how I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing pretty, pretty bad. Oh, wait, they're both major victories. I feel like I'm doing pretty bad. Return 86. We're only getting 13.9 science return. And we're getting absolutely crushed by barbarians. So, <laughs> hopefully we can come back and actually, you know, do something with this game. Alright, thanks for watching.